how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm making this video kind of after the fact. I was piecing together all my parts I had filmed of, uh, of cutting around using a oscillating saw to cut around the, um, the outlets. And as an alternative way to do it, instead of jigsaws and that kind of uh, the typical process, um, I used it to cut around my uh, breaker box. And it worked well around the switches. <clears throat> and if I changed anything, I put all this together. I put all the boards up so far. I'm, I'm using um, these deck screws. I guess you can see that. <clears throat> and with a star. And when I had my shop built, basically they had the outside kind of the skin put on, the stud walls put up. And I put up the insulation. But I had an electrician come in and he wired all my outlets. And you can see the box is pretty much flush here with the um, with the stud, but the type of the type of bracket he used, and he did a real good job. I mean, it's real tight. He's got him. He's got him nailed in. It's, he's done a really good job as far as as far as keeping everything neat and all the wires run together. <clears throat> but the problem is is that I'm putting a half inch board on this and I can't pull this out or the bracket comes out too. So I either had to go through and change every single box and I had them put boxes because one thing I don't like um, in a shop is few outlets. I want to be able to have workbenches wherever I want them and outlets close to hand. So I had them put outlets, I am, I'm not kidding, every three foot probably I've got an out, a box just like this with four outlets in it. <clears throat> Here is the um, uh, one of the boxes I've done on this other wall, and as you can see, it's I mean the outlet is actually just a little bit inside the wall here, uh, but I had to have a really neat cut here. And the normal way I've always uh, cut out around outlets and switches and everything, it's pretty much like everybody else that I know of. Uh, you know, you drill holes at the corners, you measure it up, drill holes at the corners, and then you get the jigsaw and you jigsaw it in. So that's kind of where I was going, you know, with all of this. And as you can see, I had, I've got several of these to do. So when I first started doing this, I started, thought, well, that's what I'll do here. I'll drill a hole, and then and it's typical. You, know, you drill a hole in the corner, you just mark it off, take a jigsaw, you run up and you go to the curve, maybe come straight up first, go to the curve, come back, cut that corner out, go over here, curve, cut back. And I wanted to come up with a quicker way because I had so many of these to do and I don't want to spend all my life out here cutting around outlets. I want to get these things up on the walls. So <clears throat> I know with um, sheetrock they use those uh, roto drills. And they just follow the outside of the box and it just cuts a nice neat hole. You put your plate over it, covers up any raggedness of it to it. Everything's great. Okay. Now the way um, I'm going to do this is uh, I'll pull a board up here. And you can see down here, I put down a piece of um, lathing. It lathing works. It's, like it's a one by four, so it's three quarter inches high. I'm using that to keep it off the, the boards off the floor, and it also helps keep it kind of keep it off the floor and keep it level at the same time. And so I'll show you how I'm going to mark mark this, then transfer it over. Now this here one won't have to go very far because my board's going to end right right here, so I don't have to travel very far with this here one. But I'm going to show you how to mark this and on and transfer that onto the board, and then how I cut it with the uh, I think it's oscillating saw. So hopefully you can see from back here and hopefully you can hear me okay. Get my gloves on. I'll put it in my earplugs a little bit here in a little bit.
So what I do is I run this back a little bit to make my marks. And I just come to the top of the box, make a mark, come to the bottom of the box, make a mark. Now, set that out of the way. So this is going to be three feet. Move this over here. I move this over here. So this is going to end up being three feet. I mean, um, I'm saying three feet, four feet. From the center of this stud to the center of that stud. So since these are inch and a half, I'll come three quarters of an inch to the edge. And I need to mark it one inch and about five and an eighth from the edge. So, hopefully it's still in the shot, looks like. So I come over here, one inch, five and an eighth. Now this one's going to be a little easier because it's so close to the to the edge. It's easier to make the marks. And uh, to transfer that across, I just use a square. I can I could have measured from the bottom bottom of this board up to here and up to here, and then came up to here and here, transferred it. But I'm just going to use this because this is up so close to the edge. Oops, they did the vertical lines. And you want to get these pretty straight when you're doing it this way. Now hopefully that's a little better. out of the way okay so really that matters which one I start with first I think I'll do a horizontal one first but first thing you do is you're gonna plunge straight in to go all the way through you'll see a little smoke coming off stuff like that and then I'm gonna kick it sideways and turn it and just slice through it and when I get to the end here I'll just finish it up a little this way then I'll go up do the same thing um, it's going to be real noisy, so I'm going to disconnect this microphone, and uh, we'll hook it back up after a while. And that's it.
There you go. And that's how it looks. Look a lot better with cover plates, but you're not going to have them. That's all you got. Well, I got to put this away so I can go get some uh, screws, start screwing this up. Well, thank you for uh, watching the video, and I hope you found an alternative way of cutting your outlets and around your outlets and your uh, switch boxes. Like I said, this isn't the, the quickest way probably, but it does make a neat cut and works about really well for what I needed it for because I would have done the, uh, the typical jigsaw and drill some holes, put a jigsaw to it. And I was actually looking at the roto zips when I thought about getting this and trying it. And I was a little leery at first. I bought the cheapest one I could find at Lowe's, a little oscillating saw. <clears throat> so, but it's worked well. Um, my only recommendation I would get is these blades are metal wood combination. And as you can see, I was having to push on some of this stuff and it was still kind of slow. And I haven't, I've only done maybe four or five outlets of that with this thing. And, um, but it, you know, it still works. I'll use it for a lot more outlets. But uh, but I, when I was looking online about buying some more, I saw they made some solid, just some wood ones. They had a little bit bigger teeth on them, and so I'm going to get some of those and hope they they'll last better and and be quicker. And then I might even speed this up a lot more. But these teeth are kind of fine because they're meant for both wood and steel and uh, or metal. Yeah. Probably pretty thin stuff. I wouldn't try to cut anything heavy with it. But anyway, like I said, I hope this gives you some some ideas, and maybe it'll work in your situation, like it did in mine. And um, if you enjoyed it, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm new. I can use all the subscribers I can get, and I hope you like it. And uh, and if you don't like it, mark you don't like it. If you got some alternative ideas, you know, I'm I'm open to suggestions. I'm not a you know, hardcore person that's like, oh, my way or no way. I mean, I, I listen to everybody's way, and then I try to pick what's best for me. And so that's worked well for me in a lot of situations. So it's um, it's kind of like blacksmithing. You know, there's a whole bunch of ways to draw out metal, a whole bunch of ways to fuller, a whole bunch of ways to do every kind of stuff. And you just try them all and find out what worked for you. So anyway, subscribe, like, dislike, give some comments. And uh, check back again, and I'll try to have some more videos out there. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Bye.